Hi guys, welcome back to another video. We are here today with a Zara haul. You guys have been waiting for it. It's been a minute since I posted one and I found some amazing, amazing, amazing things that will help you guys transition into the spring, but they also can transition into the fall because whether we want to believe it or not, fall is literally right around the corner. Like it's February, but we're not gonna talk about that. We just not even gonna talk about that because we all know how fast these seasons go by. Anywho, we have some amazing pieces that I'm so excited to share with you guys. I'm of course not gonna make this intro long at all. Everything will be linked down in the description box. I believe everything should be in stock, which is great, fingers crossed that I don't jinx that. But anywho, let's go ahead and get off into this video. Okay, so for our very first item, we have this amazing, amazing oatmeal vest. It's actually called a waistcoat, which I don't really know why it would be called a waistcoat because there is no like, um, I don't know if you guys know what I'm talking about. There's no tie to go around the waist, but I am absolutely very much so pleased that they decided to do these black buttons instead of their traditional gold buttons. I say this every time when you could find something that's like blazer-esque at Zara with no buttons, it's like, ah, Lilloia. It's a happy moment. So I'm happy about this. I got this in a size small. It's very, very cute. I did wear this for a Instagram picture. I wore an all way outfit, which was from my outfit online. Super duper cute. But I just thought this was so dope. I would also just wear this with like a black jumpsuit. I think that would be super cute too. But I just feel like for the spring, this is a great thing to throw on, especially since some days it's going to be warm. Some days it's going to be hot. Some days it's going to be cold. It's going to be pretty much all up in the air with this new season. You can also just wear this with long sleeves and jeans. I just think this is super cute. It's worth it. It does go down pretty long on me. I'm 5'2 for reference. Yeah, the color is absolutely amazing and it does have actual functional pockets on both sides. We love that and it's very thick. Y'all know Zara material is pretty good for the most part. It's very, very thick in quality and I believe this was only $60. So yeah, about $59.90. We love that for us because it's not even it's not even that expensive. And it's so strange because this is cheaper than their blazers, but absolutely love her. This is super dope. Yeah, love it. Also, I'm gonna go ahead and talk about the jumpsuit I have on right now. The jumpsuit I have on right now will be linked down below. It is actually from my boutique, which we love her. She is back and flourishing. But yeah, I love this. It's that houndstooth material, which you guys said that you really, really like, or not material, that houndstooth print. This is very light and flowy. It's comfortable, it's long, so it's great for petite girls to wear with heels, but it's also very good for my tall women who are on my channel as well. I absolutely love this. It's very classy. Obviously, you can't see it, so I don't know why I'm standing on my tippy toes, but I will pop in a little video showing you guys how it looks on, but I'm absolutely in love with her. It's very, very classy but yeah let's move on to the next piece okay guys so another thing that i got was these or were these leather pants i will say they did run big i don't know why they ran big but i definitely needed these in an extra small because they were a little big on my waist and also um why am i wanting to talk like a british person but I did get these. They are a little big in the back and they are quite a bit long. So like I said, extra small would have been perfect. Obviously these are gonna have to go to the tailor. I like these because they're not that shiny. It'll probably look shiny because the light is flashing on them. They're not like that shiny leather. They are very soft and they do feel pretty luxe. They do have like the stitching on the knee. Just for your reference, if you're ever in store and you see you see a bunch of leather pants, but you can't find these ones. These ones have like a slit, not a slit. They have a, like, they have a stitching in the knee. So they do go pretty long. They are wide leg. You know, I'm obsessed with wide legs right now. I was never really a fan of leather pants that were like skinny leg pants. I'm not really a big fan of those in the first place. And y'all know how bad I struggle with leather pants. So yeah, anyway. Found these, absolutely in love with them. Um, I also saw that they had like a cream or ivory color as well, and those were super cute. I was gonna get them, but that would have been excessive, and I probably wouldn't have even worn them. So I just got these, which I thought were really cute. They just need to be taken in. They do have back pockets as well, and the button on them are black. Super cute. I feel like these are definitely an essential. I've been seeing these a lot over Pinterest and on Instagram. I know Hailey Bieber wears these a ton um, and a lot of the UK girls wear them. Leather pants are definitely a fad right now. I don't know how long that's going to stay, but right now 
that's what we're working with. Okay, ladies, so the next thing that I have are these biker shorts. I did get these biker shorts in a size extra small, small. Oh, no, 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 I lied. I got these in the medium large. The only reason why I got them in the medium large is because I did not want biker shorts that were like booty shorts or that like they would rise up on the legs. I actually wanted them to be biker shorts. So that's what I did. They hit me like right above the knee, which we love that. I feel like these are great for like hoodies and leather jackets over the hoodie with like some dope stuff sneakers for like a casual vibe or something like that. I definitely feel like that's more of a California way to dress, but we love that. It's very comfy, cute, and still very fresh and young. Um, and it's great for running errands, especially in the springtime. But yeah, I really like these. They're extremely stretchy. They did have them in other colors as well. They are red, as you guys can see, and they do fit your curves extremely well as well. The quality of these are amazing. Of course, you could find these anywhere, but I do like the Zara ones because like I said, the quality and I mean, I don't think that you would really have a problem with them attracting lint or anything like that because that's another thing I hate about biker shorts and pants with this rip material in general. Like they tend to like when you wash them a few times, maybe I just don't know how to wash clothes properly, but they end up getting like very linty and a lot of hair attracts them. I hate that because it's very dingy. It looks dingy. So hopefully these don't do that. I haven't washed them yet or actually worn them out but yeah, these are definitely a must for spring. Okay, so another piece that I found, which I was actually very pleased about. I'm obsessed with this color. We're going light, okay? We're starting to go light, and I love this neutral for the spring. I think this is very cute. It reminds me of that vest that I just showed you, but in jacket form. They do have these two pockets up top. I'll also pop up a picture of one of the girls that I saw on Instagram wearing this, which was super cute, and it's so crazy because I had screenshotted the outfit, but then I was in Zara, and I literally looked to my right while I'm standing in line. Dangerous place when you're standing in that long line in Zara. You always you always find that extra piece that you never knew you needed sitting just gracefully on the rack so i picked it up and it's this this is her this is in a size small and it was 49.90 once again i saw somebody on instagram wearing it and ironic enough i saw it on the rack while i was standing in line i grabbed it this was the only one how crazy is that it was meant to be anywho yeah um, I also took a picture. I might pop that up. I didn't post it on Insta. I don't think I am going to post it on Insta because it was not hitting for me as far as the background. It was super windy and not the vibes. Anywho, this, I keep saying anywho, so also don't mind that. It's just a habit. But I do want to discuss the fact that this cinches in at the waist. We love that. See, I was never a shacket fan. I'm not a big fan of shackets in any way, shape, or form. I feel like it's just too heavy. It's chunky. I'm small. It does not fit my body type. So I usually do not gravitate towards shackets, and also the material is kind of dry. But this one I did particularly like because it does cinch you in and it does not make you kind of, it doesn't overpower you to where you just just look like a big box or manly because I know a lot of men wear shackets nowadays too it just makes you look like overwhelmingly like boxy so absolutely love this love the color love everything about it I love the thickness and this is perfect 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 for spring with some tights or some thigh-high boots or some knee-high boots I mean some knee-high boots perfect this is literally literally perfect and also there is a button detailing on the sleeves as well super duper cute here's a close-up and yeah, let's move on to our next piece. So another piece that I got is this leather jacket. I know this leather jacket looks huge, but it is. I got this in a size extra large, which was perfect. I know that sounds so strange. Five, two, I wear extra small, small. Why'd you get an extra large blazer? Because girl, because right now the trend or the thing that everyone is doing right now is they are wearing the oversized blazers. We're here for that. I love wearing a nice long blazer. It just, it looks trendy, it looks good. It makes you look like you know what you're doing, okay? So I did find this and I did also see that Hailey Bieber was sporting one very similar to this on Pinterest. Pinterest, I love Pinterest. If you like Pinterest, make sure you hit that like button on this video. But she did, she wore this, I'll pop it up on the screen. I'm obsessed with this. Um, it doesn't have any pocket. Well, no, it does have two pockets in the front, which is pretty cool. This size actually fit me perfectly fine. Once again, this is one of those things to wear, okay, at night, going into the springtime, you could wear it. Or when it hits fall time again, you can wear it because Lord knows it's going to be fall before we know it. And a lot of these pieces that I'm showing are probably not going to be here. Okay, I forgot where I left off because my memory was full, but we're back. But yeah, I 
definitely really like this oh yeah what i was saying was i'm not understanding why when it's edging towards spring they start launching or bringing out all of the fall stuff all of the stuff that you could wear for fall where was the stuff at when fall was actually here you know how you want to prep in advance for fall like around september and then you go to zara and they have nothing they're literally stuck on selling summer stuff and you're just like i want to be fly for the beginning of fall but they don't have no fall stuff so that's kind of what's happening here so that's why i say when you do find like stuff that could be transitioned into fall get them now because trust me you catch them before spring and after fall <laughs> that's when they launch all the great fall stuff but this is great i absolutely love this it's very cute it does have a split kind of in the back so it's like that i like it not a bad investment and it's something you will probably want long term i would not recommend that you guys get this oversized just get your regular size because who knows how long the large fitting oversized leather blazers are going to be in i do believe that the regular blazers are always going to be great oversized but i don't prefer to actually get those from zara i like to get those from h&m because oversized blazers from zara just are not really a thing it just won't look right but the way that h&m blazers lay on your skin they just kind of they're kind of effortless so that's why i would recommend going up a size just so you have more of that relaxed boyfriend fit but yeah i wouldn't recommend that for these leather blazers because obviously it's not going to be a thing forever and you just want your stuff to fit how it should which i'm going to show you a blazer that does do exactly what i'm talking about okay so the main blazer that i'm absolutely obsessed with is this cognac or like burnt brown jacket i just feel like this is like giving bad d vibes i love this i think this is so cute the material of it is amazing both of these blazers are in that soft leather material it is giving thick it does have pockets on the front as well. I just think this is very classy, mature, and timeless because over here on this channel, honey, we are more so dedicating our lifestyle to timeless pieces, timeless living, just the timeless aesthetic. I like things that you throw on and it immediately makes you look like you put so much effort into everything that you're doing. And not only that, but the pieces that you buy should be longevity, meaning it's not really trend based. You can wear it next year, next month, whatever. You can wear it because it's always going to be a thing. This is one of those things that are that is always going to be a thing. If it's not a thing next year, if you keep it in your closet, it'll be a thing the year after that because these things just keep circulating around. So this is a timeless piece once again. It's not too much going on with it. I love the fact that it's super plain. There's no gold button detailing or anything like that. We love that for us. Here's a close-up of the color. Super cute. Super duper cute. And I also love this for my skin complexion. This is fire. I absolutely love it. It does have two buttons on on the front as well and it does have nope it doesn't have that button detailing on the sleeves just in case you were wondering but yeah we love her she is definitely one of my favorite blazers that leather blazers that i've gotten in a minute also i did forget to mention i did get this in the extra small so i did get my exact size when it came to this blazer because this is not one of those blazers like i said that i wanted to invest in and get them too large because it obviously just it's not going to be timeless anymore. It's not going to keep up with the trend. I just, I like the fitted look on this one. I would not go oversized. The black one, you can kind of get away with that. This one, no, I didn't want to do that. Okay, so my mouth is dry and I'm thirsty. So we're going to move along. Um, I'm going to show you the last three pieces that I purchased. I did get some tank tops, which were very affordable. I got them all in a size small and they were $5.90. These are essential. So going into the springtime, you need these because you can layer them up with those blazers that I showed you. You can wear them with the blazers from H&M. You can wear them by themselves. You can layer them with a jean jacket, whatever you want to wear. These are worth it honey they are tight they are cropped they are super duper cute and they kind of give like that wife beater vibe but they are also amazing quality i mean you just can't beat it it's six dollars and they're so thick i love the detailing in the arm area because i just feel like it looks very sleek if you guys can see i think that's very sleek like it's just not it's I like it. I don't know how to explain what I'm trying to say, but these are very simplistic and cute. I did get it in black as well, which you all know this goes with absolutely anything. You wear these with a pair of jeans. You will just look so put together, super duper cute. Then I also got it in this color as well, which we absolutely love. This is just, oh, I love this color. Listen. That's beautiful. I absolutely love this color as well, which I'll pop up the picture again. This is the crop top that I wore with that leather blazer. Super duper cute. So once again, I got all three of these and I'm pretty sure that was under $20. 
can't beat it and it's quality. All right, well, it looks like we made it to the end. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I showed you guys quite a few pieces, quite a few pieces that you actually need in your wardrobe. I will be wearing a lot of these pieces quite a few times. Also, make sure you check the description box for this jumpsuit. I will have that listed down below for you as well. I am wearing a size small and it goes up to a extra large, very stretchy, beautiful material. Love her. Anywho, I am so excited for the videos to come. The weather is finally finally starting to warm up so we are definitely going to be coming with the fire videos i love you guys i appreciate you guys thank you if you made it all the way to the end and i will see you in the very next video bye guys